everybody, it's me again, Abigail. Today we're going to talk about deconstructive and constructive forces. But in doing that, we're going to make a volcano. So today for this experiment, first you need to make sure that it's okay with your parents. And um, make sure you do this outside because it is a little messy. The equipment and ingredients that you need for this experiment are you need a cup, you need two funnels, one smaller than the other. You don't have to have two, but I use two just to create more pressure so the volcano turns out better. You also need whatever colored Play-Doh that you want to decorate your volcano with. You need a little cup about this size that, that fits pretty well under the funnel to create the pressure and to hold the baking soda. And you also need a bowl for your baking soda to keep it in and some vinegar. So first, before I start, I want to introduce George. He's going to be my assistant today. He's going to help build the volcano and see how it works. So to start off, we need to go ahead and stack our funnels. and. First, we want to use a couple of um, couple spoonfuls of baking soda to put down in the bottom of our cup. So let me do that. Okay, so now that I have my baking soda in my cup, I'm going to go ahead and stack my funnels on top. And George and I are going to cover it with Play-Doh to decorate it some. So now that we've covered our funnel, we're going to go ahead and move on with the experiment. We finished covering our volcano in Play-Doh. We're going to set it over the cup of baking soda. You might want to hold it down on the cup to create more pressure when you're doing the experiment. Okay, so now we're going to put our vinegar into the cup, which is the last step before we're going to start this experiment. Okay, so George is going to do the honors. I'm going to hold it down to create more pressure, and we're going to see what happens when we pour this vinegar. So now that we have our cup set with our baking soda in it, um, George is going to pour some of the vinegar in, and I'm going to quickly cover it with, my, with the volcano before the eruption happens. The reason I did this experiment was to show the difference in deconstructive and constructive forces. Volcanoes, however, are an example of both. As volcanoes erupt, they harm and damage the land around it, leading us to believe that it is a deconstructive force. Another type of deconstructive force would be weathering or erosion on the rocks. This is Deconstructive forces typically form sand and dirt as they erode the rocks into small bits. But this is also a constructive force because when lava cools, it can create landmarks and um, other landforms, so they do consider a volcano to be constructive as well. So today we saw these two different types of forces um, work, and I hope you you all enjoyed this experiment. If you do this, please comment down below and tell me how it went. I miss y'all. I wish I wish all this wasn't happening, but we just have to make the best of it. Bye.